Spin, 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 spin. How you doing? It's me. Um, it's getting lighter outside, which I love. Absolutely love, and it's daylight saving soon, so that's even better. Um, what I want to talk about today is uh, the insurance of uh, AMI here in New Zealand. How uh, the government is going to have to bail out um, the, this insurance company. And I find it amusing because the chairman of AMI was on TV and they were saying... Well, we're fine. No, we're going to have investment, investors and all this kind of stuff, and everyone's going to be okay. And it's just a joke. You know, it's this guy here, he's taking money off people, and these people are going to lose their money. Now, the thing is, the government, New Zealand government, has, has been able to endorse any money that's getting put into there. So, in essence, what's happening there? The New Zealand insurance company, New Zealand companies and uh, other financial companies, they are getting bailouts just like the American um, companies were, American banks were, getting totally bailed out by the uh, New Zealand um, government and in essence New Zealand then takes on more debt and the taxpayers are actually paying for it. You know they're like that whole situation of too big to fail. So this is just the start of a collapse with the New Zealand once the American economy collapses the New Zealand economy will just die really fast because of the whole situation with regards to the Christchurch earthquake mainly. You know, Christchurch has these massive plans, yet can't get any insurance. If Christchurch can't get any insurance, Christchurch will not get rebuilt. It's as simple as that. You know, individuals are going to forth, um, you know, go out and, then, and do their own thing. I was going through Kaipoi and discovered there was a, a a uh, place, a, a commercial building, a, um, a pub that had got destroyed and they were rebuilding on the same place. And right under this area was this huge crack that opened up in the September earthquake. Yet they're rebuilding there, yet the houses that are around there are going to be demolished eventually in a red zone, yet this commercial building is not getting any insurance. So, you know, that's messed up. You know, that's a huge risk by the individual. But that's the problem with the system that we have. Insurance companies are just ripping us off because the monetary system helps. Well, it doesn't actually help. It's just part of the, you know, siphoning money out to the more wealthier people. Now, same thing here. Like, Christchurch isn't going to get rebuilt. Simple as that, sadly. Um, I'd love it to be rebuilt in the vision that they have. Um, but... Auckland has also put in their 40-year plan, and they've got massive uh, ideas too. But the likelihood of them getting um, funding or any money to be able to do it, it's gain, it's, it's relying a lot on the government to do these things. And again, the whole system is collapsing. When you look at the system, the whole economic system is going down the drain. It will only take another couple of years, and the thing will just collapse completely. And all these dreams, all these... Everyone's dreams is going to go out the door. Everyone. So, if you don't know about it, if you don't know the basic monetary system and how it's actually, you know, created, watch the movies. Watch Zeitgeist Addendum. Watch Zeitgeist Moving Forward. Watch Inside Job. Um, there's all sorts of movies out there that actually show the basic collapse and the way the money system and the market system works which is not going to help us all together. That's one reason why I advocate a resource-based economy, because it's actually going to help people. It's not about profits from people that actually want to make money for the sake of making money, which is a, an addictive drug in the end. It's about helping people. Insurance companies don't help people. Remember Building 7. See ya. Spinny, spin, spin, spin.